sometimes, despite all the rich adjectives and clever metaphors in the English language, the verbiage of a little boy best describes a car. This red car is super fast. It is a Ferrari. Ergo, it is called the Ferrari 812 Super Fast. For its 70th birthday, Ferrari is once again resurrecting the Super Fast name, first seen on the 4.9 Super Fast that was the quickest car we tested in the 1950s. Then as now, Ferrari's most powerful 12-cylinder engine resides in this new 812 Super Fast, a hairier revolution of the Extreme F12 TDF introduced for 2016. Ferrari bored out its naturally aspirated 6.3-liter V12 to 6.5 liters and fitted a new 5,076 pound-per-square-inch direct injection system for just shy of 800 horsepower. The 8 in the name is a reference to the car's 800 metric horsepower call it 789 in American. Equipped with the same variable length intake runners that shorten and lengthen the intake tracks to maximize airflow, the new V12 achieves that lofty power output at 8,500 revolutions per minute, along with 530 pounds to foot of torque at 7,000 revolutions per minute. That equals the law Ferrari's power and bests its 516 pounds to foot it also beats the F12 TDF's 769 ponies and 520 pounds to foot lest a turbocharged 488 GTB enter the debate, a full 80% of the superfast's torque is available at 3500 revolutions per minute. Ferrari claims a 0 to 62 mile per hour time of 2.9 seconds, a top speed of 211 miles per hour, and upon request will cite more figures no other front engine production car could hope to match. Software plays an even more significant role here than in the F12 TDF. A second generation of Ferrari's virtual short wheelbase. Renault's name for rear-wheel steering, a fifth version of its side-slip control, and Ferrari's first-ever electric power steering promise invincibility. The seven-speed dual-clutch automatic sports new gear ratios and quicker shifting times. All the familiar reactive aero flaps in the front, ventris out back, vents, intakes, and aerodynamic wonders are here, but there's no wing to disrupt the super-fast slippery body. Whether or not it's more beautiful than the original F12 Berlinetta is the one burning question we've raised about all Ferrari models since the company dropped Pine and Frina in favor of its own styling studio. The Superfast shares the F12 TDF's length but is 0.4 inch wider and 0.1 inch taller. Ferrari will release more details in the coming weeks as it prepares for the Superfast's debut at the Geneva Auto Show. Although pricing is not yet being discussed, a spokesman told CD that it is most appropriate to compare its cost with that of the F12 Berlinetta, which currently sells for just under $330,000. Back to the kid-friendly name, Ferrari's last modern use of Superfast was in 2009, when it built one gold-colored P540 Superfast Aperto based off the 599 GTB. We keep seeing Superfast Ferraris coming up at auctions, too. In January, a 1965 Superfast series I sold in Scottsdale for more than $2.9 million. Two other Superfast coupes sold at Monterey in 2015 and 2016, respectively, for $3.03 million and $2.75 million. All had a 5.0-liter V12 with 400 horsepower that hit 170 miles per hour on 1960s era tires and with 1960s aero brakes. Maxing the 812 super fast should be altogether less frightening, but let's not think too deeply, it's just really, really fast.